This is a how-to video on adding and using Pear Deck with Google Slides. So get into Google Slides and click the Add-ons button. You want to get some add-ons. Usually it shows up up here, and there it is right there. Uh, or you can do a search for Pear Deck in case it isn't showing up. Add for free. And it's going to ask you to click through and allow a few things. Go ahead and allow these. It's not a big deal uh, if you allow all this stuff. So click through all that, and then we'll catch back up with the video. So go ahead and pause as you click through. All right, at this point, once you have that uh, add-on installed, all you have to do is click over here and then open the Pear Deck add-on. We'll let that work for a second, I'll be right back. All right, now that we have it installed and opened up, you have a variety of things you can choose. Beginning of the lesson, this is some things you already know about today's topic. Uh, if you're ready to move on, what did you learn from the homework? These are just pre-made uh, ones. We're gonna use one for during the lesson that says summarize what you just learned. So you double click that and it'll generate and it'll look like this. So if you wanted to change the, the text of this, you could. Instead of summarize what you just learned, you can, you can write, whoop, you could put, tell me about your weekend. And then it'll prompt the students, or in this case the adults, <laughs> Uh, to write and then as they write on their individual screens it will populate large on the big screen. So hopefully you're in a PD session with me and you, you saw that happen. Uh, let's insert one more. This is the end of a lesson. And um, I like this. The, the click to show how you're feeling about this. So do we need to do more? Do we need to add on? Um, can we move forward? So there we go. So it gives this and it'll show the, the class's rating on this. Once you're ready, all you do is click this Present with Pear Deck button, and it will generate. So I'm going to pause and come right back when it's ready. After you click that Present and uh, Pear Deck mode, this comes up on your screen, and this is what you share with your students when you're presenting. So they put in this little code, and uh, then they join your presentation. And I'll see if I can scrunch up, scrunch up two screens so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm logging into a different account. Uh, when you when you go to this website, it forces you to log into Google, and then here you go. Here's the code. So I'm going to enter the code Z R O N P. And just wait a second. So it already shows you this, and it's waiting for me to get started. So I'm going to do that. Shows what? Uh, oh, you can't see because I had moved it. Shows that one student has joined down here. So let's go ahead and start presenting. So as I click through, you'll notice this screen will change. So this is the teacher screen, this is the student screen. So I'll click through here, and uh, it's going slow for some reason. So then tell me about your weekend, here's where you write the answer. It was a great weekend. And you can add multiple responses, and then if I click down here, it'll show my responses up on this screen. There it is. Oh, I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong button. That's the button. I had a blast. So those will show up on the screen live as you're presenting. All right, back to here. Next slide. How are you feeling? I'm feeling not so great about what's going on here. So uh, again, if you show this, it'll show your responses. So there's my student responses. All right. I'm feeling very good. So the idea is, is through these little tools, uh, what you can do is have some content and then pull the class live. Have some more content, have them write a response. Have some more content, have a multiple choice question, and it's all embedded in your slideshow. All right. Hopefully that can uh, help your instruction.